I've done lots of things in my life, everything from having been a fisherman to a stay-at-home mom of five. I've been a cheerleading coach, a brownie coach. I've been everything a mom can be. And all the while, I've been me, which is this spiritual being underneath it all. So it just makes sense that I would be here. It's a metaphysical shop, basically servicing the needs of the metaphysical or neo-pagan community or new age community. My friend Amanda started this business 23 years ago. She couldn't be the owner of the business any longer, her physical sicknesses and things like that. She gave me the offer. I, I didn't take right to it because it's a lot of responsibility. It took a lot of thought, and the day that I decided, I've never been so excited. In my life, everything that I've done has been under someone else's wing. This is mine. This is me growing from somebody's daughter and somebody's wife and somebody's mother to an actualized person all on my own. Having a voice in the community to being able to give back it's a way for me to be creative and spiritual and giving and still get what I need to live on. So it's, it's perfect. We make about 80% of what's in the store. Some of the other people who hang out here do other things. Tarot readings and birth charts and all kinds of stuff. We like to keep it really eclectic. We want to have a little something for everyone. We want it to be a space of love, a place where people are comfortable and don't feel judged for the purchases they're making because a lot of people in alternative cultures get judged a lot. We don't want that to happen here, so we try to keep it really homey and comfortable. <laughs> All right. So These are gorgeous. Okay. <laughs> and these are the tarot card bags. These are Aren't they fantastic. Awesome? And look, oh, look at that one. That also, cool. someone put beads on some of them. It's very easy. Yeah, I like the beads. That's a good, a good thing. These are gonna sell great. Yeah. I look forward to the people who are regulars and to the new faces. We're making a donation basket for the breast cancer awareness. Right. You, you have one of my. You have the jean bag. Right. And I thought I could throw that in too. Sometimes I see men come into the store in their suits and ties businessmen. And I often think, oh, are you in the wrong place? And I try to see what it is they're looking for because I often think they're not in the right place. As it turns out, everybody is looking for an explanation. Everybody is looking for the why. I worry about Dayton. Everyone I ever knew who had a safe, secure future doesn't. The real estate market is upside down. There aren't enough jobs. There's no more unions. There's no more big paying jobs. People are falling apart. People are moving away. I mean, it used to be we were NCR, we were GM, we were Delphi. We're not that anymore. And what Dayton needs to do is, is find an answer as to who they are. A prayer is a wish, is a spell, it's all the same because it's working on the electrical energy that you produce with your will, with your intention. What you put out comes back, period. Here's my favorite quote and I made it up. Grow something every day. I don't care if it's an idea, a child, a project, your mind, your imagination, your heart, a relationship, a friendship, a garden, I don't care what it is, grow something every day.